皆さんこんにちは。And welcome to Shogo's podcast. So today, guys, again, I'm inside the oxygen room. <laughs> This is actually, well, tomorrow is going to be the last day my mother will be staying, but she'll be leaving around noon. So basically, today is going to be the last day my mother will be here for the full day. And then from there, I think、um, Harumi and I will be on our own with the kids、uh, for about probably next two or three weeks until my sister in law comes over to help us out for two weeks. And of course, my sister in law is working. Um, she works online, so during the day she won't be able to help so much, and maybe around from evening to night she'll be able to help out a little bit. Little bit. So, what I'm trying to say is that we're going to start to get really, really busy from here, and I'm really scared if we'll be able to survive or not. But I guess there are a lot of families around the world with three or more, even more children who.、Uh, Have just have their parents looking after them, so I think、uh, we'll find some, somehow to serve some way to survive, yeah, while trying to maintain our businesses and everything and trying to keep everything on track at the same time. But, anyways, guys,、uh, let's leave that、uh, side story away. And、uh, today's main topic is about my the、uh, Let's Ask 16C channel. And to be really honest with you, on this story, half of it I've already talked about in the video of Let's Ask 16C, and the other half I'm going to be talking about afterwards is something that. I did not include in the video, but I would love to share with you guys because I thought it was really, really interesting.、Um, a story that I heard from Six and Say. Now, ever since I started the channel, you know, I've been saying that there's been quite a lot of criticism on going on about the new channel, and there's actually been a few people、um, letting me know that on Reddit, you know, there's this、uh, social media called Reddit, there's actually some. Groups of people who've been、um, saying、uh, some abusive, I guess,、uh, content or sex and say and such, and I haven't been able to analyze what's going on so far so much. But,、uh, anyways, a lot have been happening. And I completely understand that Six Sensei it has a lot of skills, has a lot of experience, has, has gotten a lot of good results, and he is, what should I say?、Mm, he stands out a lot, you know, because of his,、uh, his very high level of skills. And、um, one of the, the、uh, criticisms that came to our channel directly, to our comments, are people who are saying that the kata. Basically, that we introduce in our videos are meaningless or useless because no, that would actually not happen in a real battle. Now, about this, I've already explained in my video.、Um, I've heard stories from Six Sensei, and I tried to put my own、uh, beliefs into it too, especially、uh, one of my、uh, channel members called Stefan, who's been training a, a lot of other martial arts too. He gave me a lot of,、um, what should I say? Um, interesting ways to explain it. You know, I think I made a podcast before explaining about what the purposes of training kata and such. And basically, it's almost like a textbook of that yuha, you know. So, katas could not be like in kendo, too, like in judo, karate, yai. Everything has kata, right, in Japanese martial arts. Well, not just martial arts, actually. I explained before. In the React video, what I did with Harumi, I talked about、uh, Sayuri's Snow Dance. If you remember the Memoirs of Geisha video, we reacted to it.、Um, unfortunately, uh, uh, in that video, we were to ex- unfortunately, why did I say ex- unfortunately? I, we explained in that video too that even the dancing, well, even the dancing in no theater too, are all forms of kata, actually. And the reason why we have kata is because it's basically a really good method of teaching people. It, it, you know, we just have this special word called kata that I think every sport or any martial Short has drills that people train in, right? It's the same thing. you know. It's just a method for people to be able to carry on you know, the skills、uh, properly. And that's exactly the reason why we've been able to carry on Japanese traditional culture for a few centuries, right? It's because we have a very good set of kata. It was for the next generation to learn the skills too. Yeah. So we're not here to say that、um, because you learn the kata, you'll absolutely be able to you know,、uh, win every battle. <laughs> of course not. Of course not. That's the reason why we train in,、um, in for example, not just the EI kata, Kenjutsu kata, but we'll also do the Gikyan, which is like using the soft swords to just、uh, go and hit each other to、um, gain more courage, to be able to. Try to use your mind, try to be courage, courage, try to be、uh, brave. Yeah, there we go.、Um, try to be brave, try to be、um, calm all at the same time, try to、um, try to use the skills and techniques as much as possible that you know, for example. And of course, we do the t a m i s h i g i r i mat cutting for, to check our、um, swings, if, we're, if we can actually cut stuff with it, and so on and so forth. Yeah. So, all these things combined together, you'll finally be able to get closer to what.、Um, What being a master of katana is. You know? And again, in the end, no one actually uses katana in daily life anymore. So it's all about you and you communicating with yourself. So, this part, until here, this story I've already explained in my main video, right?、Um, on Last Night Six Sensei, it was the second video, part two of the Wakizashi video. 
And from here, so this is something really interesting that Six Sense explained to me um, outside of the videos, by the way. I thought it was really interesting. I wanted to share with you guys. But he said that sometimes, sometimes there are people, because a lot of people criticize、uh, Japanese Budo martial arts, saying that it's not practical, it won't happen in real life. There are some people, he says, that sometimes they're like, okay, so I'm going to be going and fighting with other Yuha to prove that our Yuha is the best, you know? And Six Sense was like, no. If you're gonna be doing that, please leave our dojo. Please, you know, erase your name from our dojo and go ahead and do it, is what he said. He said that,、um, you know, going and fighting with random people, you know, with the name of that Yuha will be really, really rude and disrespectful to that Yuha. So please never, ever do that. That is one of the rudest things you can do. And again, this is something like, for example, it's almost like saying you were, for example, you're training in a boxing gym at a certain gym. Let's say、uh, Six Sensei was the instructor there, the coach there. And it's like, almost like saying, I'm going to go and beat up some delinquents on the streets and prove that、um, the boxing skills I've learned is actually effective in a real fight kind of thing. That will be a big problem, wouldn't it? You know, <laughs> it's the same thing. Same thing. It'll just be a crime, right? You know, going out on the streets and punching random people on the streets and proving that the boxing skills that you learn in that gym is useful is just a crime. That's not something that you should do. So, this is the point of saying that, oh, this, this,、uh, you know, this, these skills won't be used in real life, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't make any sense at all. Because again, the purpose of you training the katana, training swords, you know, training Japanese brutal martial arts isn't for you to go out on the streets and suddenly punch people. You know, there's different skills and techniques for that. If you really want to learn the skills to be able to win any fight on the streets, for example, or if you get attacked by a random person, if you want to win, that's completely different, you know,、um, skill sets that you need. Yeah. You know? So, this was really, really interesting for me.、Um, how he said that if you really want to fight people you know, with different duha, you know, with wooden swords or whatever, please leave our dojo and never ever claim to say that you're part of us, you know, part of our group, and go and do such violence because that's not the purpose of why you're lear- learning duha s- skills you know, in modern day today. So, I just wanted to share with you that Six Sensei said this, and I completely understand what he means. Yeah. Because, again, I think the example that I said earlier probably makes the most sense. You know, again, training in a boxing gym, going out on the streets and punching random people you know, on the streets because he or she started a fight with you is not going to be an honorable thing for that gym, right? The boxing gym? Yeah. So, again, all of these claims saying that this is not realistic, or do, don't these guys know, know that we have guns in this world now? You know, like, why are these guys living like 200, 300 years in the past? Blah, blah, blah. You know, these are all things I'm pretty sure that, that、uh, people who have never ever trained or enjoyed the,、um, uh, the wonderfulness of Japanese brutal martial arts or any, any kind of probably.、Uh, What should I say? Skill sets or something that you can learn to enjoy. Probably have never done anything of that before, I'm pretty sure. Probably they've watched a lot of movies or、um, videos of people fighting or whatever, video games maybe, and they believe that they're probably really, really strong or something. I don't know what happened. But that's what I thought, yeah. And that's what I heard from Six Sense Day 2, and I really wanted to share this idea with you. Again, though,、um, I'd love to hear your opinions and ask you what、uh, you thought about、uh, Six Sense's opinion.、Um, Yeah, and this、uh, it is a really difficult、uh, topic to talk about, to be honest. Yeah, because if someone asks you, why the heck are you still swinging swords in modern day today? The answer is, I don't know, because we enjoy it. you know? It's the same thing as, like, why are you playing that instrument? Like, why are you dancing? Like, why are you cooking? you know? Why are you cooking? There's, there's Uber, Uber Eats or Grab or whatever it is, those applications that send you the re- food from restaurants. Why are you still cooking? you know? AI can play music for you. you know, is this Vorkloy? Why are you still singing? You know? there's, if you go to that, to be honest, there is no meaning in anything that we do, right? You know? So that's my personal belief. Yeah, that's what I think, anyways. But again, please let me know in the comments about what you think. So, then everyone, as I always say, the ultimate goal of my life is to make all Japan lovers' dreams come true. So, I know there's a lot of people studying Japanese, willing to come to Japan to study, travel, work, or even train our traditional culture and such. However, I am very afraid that Japan will not be able to make our dreams come true in the future. Because we're facing a lot of social problems, we are losing our traditional culture, and the younger generations who are supposed to be carrying on the good things about Japan are dying because of all the social issues being shoved against them. So, I really want to dedicate my life to try to make Japan a better place. I want to try to solve the social problems, preserve and evolve traditional culture. 
culture and also help out the younger generations so you can have a brighter future. And to do this, the nearest goals I have right now is to achieve 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year on my new channel, Last Act 6 and Say, which where I'm trying to spread the wonderful skills of Asa Mai Shindu. Also make the Yushinkan Samurai experience a big success. Right now, we're actually um, welcoming about 10 to 20 guests per month. It'd be great if I can uh, be able to reach 50 guests um, per month. And we actually have been starting to sell um, katana to the visitors as well. And so far, we've been actually been able to sell about four katana. And hopefully in the future, we'll be able to sell two more because there have been people telling us the life to come. Yeah. So all these things too, I want to make uh, the Yushin Khan uh, be able to have bigger success, you know, and everything. And I'm, they'll be able to do more training, you know, spread the skills, so on and so forth. So I'm really looking forward to that too. And of course, studying to become a Japanese language instructor, all the other activities are in the description box. So I hope you can check it out for me. All right, guys, thank you so much. And I'll be waiting for our comments. I really, really love you all. Hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.